So, Jaden, I know Saturday was kind of weird. I mean, career game for you, but uh, you still come up with the loss. So, what did you take away from that outing? Uh, offense we play, we got a lot of things rolling. I mean, the first half we were really rolling. Kind of uh, stalled out the second half, only 10 points. We could have put up more. But, uh, obviously, uh, it's not what we wanted. We wanted to win, uh, start winning on in Pac-12 Conference. So, we just got to rebuild. We got to build on from the game that we had and uh, improve it to this week. What was the difference in the second half, in your opinion? I mean, it, there was a couple plays that we missed, uh, a couple third downs that we missed. You know, the first half we were hitting third downs, we were uh, efficient. We were as efficient in the second half. You feel like the offense finally got rolling and you felt you looked more comfortable and it looked like the offense just totally felt more comfortable? Yeah, totally. I mean, we got, all got the uh, the whole gist of where the O-line stands, where everybody else stands. Uh, Coach Likens did a good job calling plays that week. Uh, he always does a good job and then everybody just executes their assignments, really just going out and, and uh, the whole week of practice we paid attention to the, the little details to make sure that the, it wouldn't turn into anything major on Saturday. It seemed like you had some of the best protection, especially in that first how did it feel just operating in the pocket when that was the case? I felt good. I mean, uh, O-line did a tremendous job that game. Uh, they told me that week that they got me no matter what. So, I mean, just get, sitting back there, just having some time to get the ball to the playmakers, it felt good. Does it feel like it's settling in in, in, in that way? It's just comfortable with everything? Yeah, I mean, as the game's going on, the more experience you get, the more comfortable you're going to get. So, I mean, uh, that was game four. So, I mean, I was more comfortable than I was game one, two, and three. So, each and every week, we're just improving as an offense, too. How's your ankle? Uh, it's doing good. I mean, uh, just going out there, just getting the treatment, just going out there, just playing, practicing. Well, what do you think it's going to take for the running game to really to really get going after four weeks? Uh, I mean, uh, steady improvements. Uh, O-line just staying on a little blocks a little longer. Uh, me as an uh, offense, me and the receivers open up the passing game so the, so the defense can split back uh, and worry about the pass instead of worrying about the run. And it, uh, when the opportunity there, just hit them. You went into some five wides in that game. What did you think about just being able to open it up like that? Uh, it felt great. I mean, putting the defense, stress on the defense, making them cover all the space. So, I mean, I know the athletes that we have, and if we get the defense in space and get them in space, it's hard for them to cover. What's it like building this, the relationships with the freshman receivers, Curly, Pearsall, knowing that you'll be able to work with them for a long time? Uh, it was great. I mean, just going, knowing that I could play with them for the next couple of years, uh, really, they had a big they had a big game. Curly had big two catches, you know, big yards. Pearsall got in and had a big catch. So, I mean, just seeing the, the – you can see everybody getting more comfortable now as the game's going, the experience is coming out now. And the interception play, what, uh, what happened exactly? Uh, I mean, uh, I was really – it was a play uh, that was on me, but uh, I was really hesitant to uh, throw. Like, I seen Kyle, but I was hesitant when I threw. I kind of pulled back instead of being convicted of the throw and just throwing it. Second or third read? Yeah. When you look at the Cal uh, defense, how different are they from Michigan State in terms of what kind of challenge they present? Uh, they're going to be a, a great disciplined defense. Uh, they really focus on effort running to the ball. Uh, the corners, they got a good defense, a good secondary. So, I mean, the corner, I feel like they're just going to try to uh, – they're all the whole defense experience. So I mean, they've been in that system. So just going out there, they know the system in and out. The corners are going to try to play secondary and try to play around. Uh, and it's really just the effort and the discipline that they are. And, and Cal is obviously one of several Pac-12 teams that were recruiting you. Is it kind of weird now uh, facing them week after week? Yeah, I mean, I know the staff. Uh, it's it's kind of weird because you know, like a, literally a year ago they were recruiting me. Now I'm here and I'm playing against them. So I mean, I just going out there. I was up there for an official visit. So I mean, just going out there now. It's it's kind of weird that I'm playing against the staff that was recruiting me. How good does it go, feel to go in there, though, coming off such a good game that you had the other night? I feel great. I mean, uh, knowing that the offense, uh, what we did on Saturday, I mean, we didn't win the game, but just as an offense, we had uh, improvements. We had a big game. So, I mean, just going out there and just building on it, I feel great coming up to coming into this uh, upcoming Friday. You look great and comfortable on the field on Saturday. Take us through that game. And what was what was the feeling like out there? Yeah, terrific. I mean, uh, the game, was it was uh, slowed down a little bit more. Uh, the play calling, uh, Coach Likens did a great job of uh, game planning for us to be successful that week. Everybody did their assignments and the little details that they had, uh, really just going out there and execute them. How big was it to be able to get nine different receivers involved in this game? Yeah. I mean, it's always great just knowing that you can get into a rhythm, get everybody involved. I mean, uh, people had a big play. Frank had a big play. B.A. had a big game. 
So I mean, just getting people like them the ball. Kyle is always uh, sure-handed, so just getting them the ball, and making sure that they could uh, do what they could do. I guess coming to the season, you expected Brendan Ayuk to play at the level he's playing right now. That's no yeah. surprise to you. Yeah, I mean, uh, just knowing that the chemistry we're building, uh, knowing that uh, from last season, you know, he was a JUCO transfer. He's kind of first year, so he didn't really know what Division One football was. But now he's settled in. He's into his own, and then he's just a player. So just get him the ball; he can make plays. Is How exciting is it to see this kind of deep passing game take off? Uh, it feels great. I mean, knowing that we got deep threats on the edge, uh, just giving them a chance to go make a play, and, and I did that, and that's what they did. You, you this the cut? production you expected to see from Brandon where he's making 40 yard catches every game. Yeah, I mean, uh, just knowing him, I mean, just really just getting the ball. He's a special type of player, so just getting him the ball and, and let him do what he has to do. He said that work between you two started really early. Yeah, I did. I, it started when we got when I got here uh, before spring ball. I mean, we used to go throw in the bubble, uh, throw out the practice so that the chemistry was good in the system. How important is it to, you know, have that chemistry early on? Uh, it's very important because uh, if you really don't have chemistry with receivers, then you all going to be on the same, off the, not on the same page. So I really just go out there and build a chemistry with them from day one. It's very important for the offense because of timing and everything. What challenges does Cal's defense pose for you, do you think, Jim? Uh, they're going to be a very disciplined team. Uh, they're, gonna, they're not going to allow the big plays. So, I mean, we're going to have to create some big plays, uh, and we got to keep drives alive because they want everything to be uh, methodical and short. So, I mean, they're not going to allow us to get the big plays like how we've been getting big plays. So, we're going to have to just take what the defense gives us. Sounds like patience. Yeah. yeah. What did their safeties and, like, Ashton Davis do that, that makes them so good? Uh, they're ball hawks. I mean, uh, they're going to try to bait you into throwing stuff so they can jump routes. Uh, they do a very good job of just uh, baiting the quarterback and then uh, really just trying to disguise things. Uh, just confuse confuse quarterbacks on different teams, confuse myself. Do you always have to know where Weaver is on the field? Yeah, of course. I mean, he's a leading, leading tackler yeah. in the nation, so I mean, he's going to be everywhere. He's going to be a ball player. So you always got to you got to know where he's at on the field, see what he's doing. You just got to know where everybody else is on the field because it's not just him, but they have a collective group that uh, is, is very good. I know he's good at, at getting to the quarterback, but also in, in pass projection, it seems like he's kind of good at, at disguising things and baiting you a little bit into throwing things. Have you seen something like that? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, a, that's the thing. Like I said, uh, the defense as a whole, they're just going to try to confuse you, yeah. try to bait you into doing other things. Uh, and making mistakes. So the thing is, we got to go out there and not make mistakes. You were confident in the Michigan State game. Is there confidence about this team playing on the road? Yeah, uh, of course. I mean, any any game, we've always got to have confidence in offense as a team. I have confidence that the defense is going to go out there and play a better game. They have confidence that the offense is going to keep it rolling. So, I mean, that's just what that's the uh, camaraderie we built as a team in the locker room. There's always the confidence in each other. Thanks, Jake.